Hey guys, uh, Scourge one here. Another Kenner review. Now, I know I've been doing another... I did a Kenner review yesterday, but I decided I want to do this one simply because I've been looking for this forever. So, I mean, since I started collecting Kenner. And I found it. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to have to say this is possibly one of the coolest Kenner figures I've ever seen, and I expected that just because it's so awesome. It's the Lava Planet Predator with Blazing Rocket Launcher. Uh, yeah, this figure, I've been looking for him everywhere. I found him the other day for like $3, and I grabbed him as soon as I could. So, I'm going to start reviewing the packaging. Right here we see a picture of the Predator's bio. We see a cool picture of the Lava Planet Predator. On the other side we get the basic packaging. Uh, right there it says Aliens vs. Predator 2-pack, the ultimate battle between Beast and Hunter. And then the description says the stage is set for the ultimate battle between the universe's two most ferocious enemies. It's the gruesome aliens against the big game hunting Predator. Who will win, the Beast or the Hunter? Can the Predator stop the evil aliens before the galaxy is destroyed? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. The, uh, line is all the same as all the other ones, right here too. Get the Predator Blade Fighter, the Queen's Hive, the way you assemble the uh, Lava Planet Predator, you snap the helmet onto the head, snap weapon harness into figure, holes in harness fits over peg on figure's chest and back, weapon rotates for various firing position, 3A, load projectile into weapon with projectile fins up, press button to fire, 3B, says weapon rotates down and stores as shown when not use, Kenner, that's packaging. Um... I'm going to open this up, and stay tuned. And we're back. Now, I'm just going to say this uh, out, just out there. I, I generally keep the packaging, but just take a look at this packaging. It's just so disgusting. So, for the sake of cleanliness, I'm not going to keep it. Now, uh, this is probably one of the most ingenious, well-educated Kenner figures so far. I mean, first of all, they... Uh, tweaked the part about the hindered head articulation. Now the dreads don't hinder the movement, so you can have a basically full range of movement. Not like the other Kenner figures, I mean Kenner Predators, where the dreads were just solid and they blocked everything. Uh, also, the way the weapon assembly fits into place is just really cool. Uh, there's a thorn, like, right there, or whatever you want to call that, a needle. Um and you plug this in to that square, same thing on the other side, and you can basically adjust the shoulder cannon the way you want. I think that's really kick-ass. Look at that. You stick the missile inside, which is just awesome. This helmet is just so cool. I mean, there's all the indentations of the, of, of the scalp in there. It fits nicely onto the onto the figure's face. By the way, I just want to throw this out there, but uh, if you actually have looked at the uh, what you call it, crack tusk predator, it is basically the exact same thing. I mean, they used a different plastic, and it's the same thing. And then they painted that. Uh, but I honestly think I'd rather get this than the crack tusk. This is just way too cool. Uh, first of all, I mean it's a lava planet predator, and second of all, it's the Lava Planet Predator. I mean, that's just awesome. Uh, as far as articulation is concerned, it's basic Kenner articulation. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the only thing I, the only gripe about this figure is this. You can't move the hand uh, when the harness is on, the uh, weapon assembly is on. But when you take it off, you can move it as much as you want. Uh, I think it's all right, but that's basically it. Let's see, how do I put this on? Yeah. There we go. Pain apps, you get this really cool sort of like fiery black battle damage. Uh, there's no, no other pain, ax, pain apps simply because it's red, except here there's shading in the back of the, he of the dreads. There's like a black shade. Uh, that's pretty much it. The, the, the Honestly, this figure is pretty nice. Uh, right here, they put some black spots. Uh, it, the other black spots are blocked by the assembly. 
of the weapon harness. There, see? There's some black spots. Yeah. Uh, it's clear plastic, pretty much. This is a pretty cool figure. You can fire it. It actually fires pretty far. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. It, it fires really far. Um, that's basically it. The paint apps with the eyes are really cool. You just get the, those simple red eyes like in the movie Predator. Uh, the helmet fits on nicely. I mean, of course, if you knock it off, it's going to come off, but it stays on pretty snugly. Detail-wise, you get cool, like, sh spiky shoulder armor. You get some sort of bladed gauntlet right here. Uh, the loincloth, it has, like, a protecting sort of plate. You get the back of the loincloth. There's some studs on the back right here. It's hard to see, I know. And that's basically it. Uh, so today we're reviewing the Lava Planet Predator. I would honestly say this is a pretty good assembly fig, uh, a pretty good, uh, figure to your Kenner line. And, uh, if you don't have them, try to pick them up, although, uh, I'd suggest, I would think he's pretty hard to find. I mean, I've, I've only found two before. One being this guy and the other one I found, like, the legs of and, like, a $2 toy bin. So I said no. And, uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. And, uh, stay tuned till another review.